Ah, well, good morning, folks. It's Monday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 110 of our F1 Manager 22 career mode with Team Alpine and the happy hunting ground that is the Marina Bay Street Circuit for the Singapore Grand Prix. Looking forward to it. I, we, we are on such a roll at the moment. It's unbelievable. We lead Red Bull by 238 points, so we can win the Constructors' title today. Uh... Then come for our, well, we don't know who's he, because there's uh, George Russell leading the uh, championship, followed by Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, no, Pierre Gasly, Sergio Perez, Valtteri Bottas, and Jack Dewan, your top ten. Oscar's got a development point, let's put it on his defending. Nice. Very nice, if you don't mind me saying, sir. And no one else has got anything, wants the pit crew up to... Yeah, we'll keep him on car release, sir, uh, for the moment. I think that's, uh... That's probably the best uh, thing for him, so I'm going to go take practice with the boys, and then I'll see you on the other side of this for the first session of qualifying. Let's hope that those slow cars get in the way of George Russell again, please. Alright then, on to Q1. Q1. Yeah. Practice went well. It's we we dominated. This, this seems to be... I'm going to get to the point now where I'm not going to take start taking practice with the final six races of the season. Yeah, F1 Manager 22, for those that uh, don't know, finishes next Friday. And then you get a month of F1 23 content. Oh, the joys. Oh, you lucky people. Uh, and then I think it, I remember Someone there's a release day. Is it the 30? What have we got Let's here? Oh, Leclerc has been nipped. There's Leclerc. Red Bull in the mud. Red Bull in the mud. Oh, nice. The judge from Singapore gave him a 10. <laughs> yeah, 31st of um, July, I think they said the release date for F1 Manager 23 is. And some of the, uh, what else we uh, got here? We got one of the uh, red, uh, is that Jack Doohan? Yep, that's Jack Doohan. We'll be seeing you there, son. Oh, uh, yeah, F1 20, Manager 23 then starts. So... I would say going into August, you're going to get to your F1 23 and F1 Manager 23 content again. But we'll do it on a... Uh, we'll do it on a 2 plus 3 rotation. So one week it'll be 3 F1 23s, and the next week it'll be 3 F1 Manager 23s. I think that's uh, that's the best way uh, to do it. Right, let's uh, get out there now, shall we? Let some of these cars go. We'll let uh, Lando go first. And then we'll let... Uh, George go right behind him. There he is. Any cars coming out uh, behind him? Yes, so we'll make it uh, across the line, no problem. Only strolls in front of uh, Norris, so relatively clearish track. And it is... Uh, where have we gone? We've got a yellow flag out there. Oh, they hadn't uh, set the times yet. Norris goes P2, Russell goes P1. Ten for the half, quicker than Leclerc. That's uh, whipping it out. Oh, we've got a oh, red flag at the end of qualifying for, I presume, Kevin Magnussen, because he's out. Red flag, red flag. Session suspended, yeah. but everyone's Let's done their times. <laughs> so does that mean that the... Uh, oh, we got more penalties for Verstappen. Oh, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> we lose Joe Stroll, Giovinazzi, Magnussen and Nicholas David Latifi. All right, then. I think the uh, gauntlet has been thrown. All right, into Q2. At least we know the session started normally and not under uh, not under a red flag. Let me just... Uh, I'm at the minute doing a bit of multitasking because, you know me, I like a... I like a good multitask. Who doesn't like a, a good bit of uh, multi... It's not that group, is it? Okay. I got that one wrong. We got a yellow flag uh, out there. Let's put it in that group there. Did somebody spin uh, out Gasly has been in turn there. two. Now look at this. Coming out the Pierre pit Gasly. lane. Oh, and he's blocked the track for his teammate on the fast lap. Time. <laughs> Gasly, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> Mind you, why do we care about what uh, what Gasly did? Because uh, he's no longer part of uh, this team anymore. It's like, uh, like Ferrari. Ferrari, uh, 
if you uh, do well for them, you're all of a sudden Ferrari's best friend. But then if you uh, leave Ferrari, you're all of a sudden the Antichrist. <laughs> uh, right, let's send uh, the boys out. Let's hope that uh, they can have themselves a, a good lap out there. Let's go to there. Thank you very much. And that is going to be... Where's the Alpines going? Three and five. That's interesting. The Red Bulls have uh, found a little bit of pace. But so is Carlos Sainz. But uh, we don't worry about those two because... They've got a penalty. So... Look at that. George Russell, Pierre Gasly, Lando Norris would win the top three. We lose Perez, Albon, Schumacher and the two Aston Mar Margins. At what's an Aston Margin? I'm pretty uh, pretty sure you drink uh, an Aston Margin or something like that. Anyway, jobs are good. Let's get on to the money session. Uh, all right, Gibbons, on to the money session, uh, Q3. On the radio. Yeah, we're good. Tell you what, if we can walk away with a 3-4 and uh, the Verstappen and Sainz are the quicker of the cars, then uh, I would take that uh, as a bit of a result, personally. I really, really would. That's what I think we need to be uh, need to be looking at. We need to be... I would say definitely take a 1-2 straight away, but 3-4 is what we've got to have. Because because three four is what uh, you know what we uh, should be aiming for. I I would hazard a guess we've gone from being probably I would say fifth or sixth best team on the grid to the best team on the grid, and we've done it through hard work. We've done it through sheer determination, and and it's all all fun. It's all fun. Right, who's taking this lap? There is it going to be Lando? Yeah, Lando's going to take uh, this lap for us. All well and good on the uh, streets of Marina Bay, which won't have this that little uh, area that uh, they've all just gone through. So here we go, then on board with Lando Norris through turns 22 and 23 onto the main straight. DRS pops wide open as we sprint down to turn one. Hard on the brakes into turn one. Turn two, let the car flow, nothing corner. Turn three, the hairpin. Then through turn four, nothing corner as we go down to turn five, which leads on to Raffles Boulevard, the Singapore big wheel in the uh, background there. On to Raffles Boulevard, the second DRS uh, zone. Turn six, nothing corner, flat out for turn seven. Big heavy braking zone coming up right about now. Let the car run uh, to the exit. Use a bit of the curb if you have to. Turn eight. Then starts these horrible, tricky sequence of corners. Turn nine nicely into it you can let the car float to the wall it'll be absolutely fine into the middle for uh, some unknown reason into the singapore sling turn 10 turn 11 12 13 takes you over the anderson bridge into 14 and 15 the anderson hairpin down this long straight which is the third drs zone i bet they move this uh, drs zone to the uh, other straight as we go into turn 16 lando is going purple in the middle sector George is also going fast, turn 17, and then, sorry, this is uh, turn 17, then this sequence of corners, 18. Then you want uh, turn 19, turn 20, 21, 22. I'm expecting to see George uh, pop in about P4, P3, there he goes, P3, so that's uh, effective front row, Lando Norris though. Yo -ho 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 -ho! Lando Norris Pole by default <laughs> Have some of that one Oh so we're gonna be starting by the way George Russell point zero six nine slower Nice <laughs> Oh that is what but look at that the top ten split by just half a second That's how competitive Competitive these this uh, season is, and think of how competitive it will be next season as well. Utterly, uh, utterly competitive, uh, I would say. But yeah, front row lockout. One server uh, Stappen and Sides take their penalties. We take that all day and every day. Let's go get the cars set up for the race. All right, then onto the race strategy. 97% confidence in the setup for both drivers. This should be a one-stop. 
and it should be a one-stop in effect that I feel like uh, doing something very, uh, very different uh, around here. I think I want to put one on the me soft and one on the medium. So there we go. Oh, look at that. That's that's already that's 25 seconds faster. That's a joke. That is an absolute joke. So we bring Lando in on lap 28. Yeah, we'll bring Lando in on uh, lap 28. That's absolutely fine with me. And then we'll br do this with George. And we'll bring him in a, a lap or two earlier. There you go. Which one of these strategies is going to be quicker? Can we go faster on that? Uh, oh, we can. Oh, we can go aggro mode on the on the soft if we uh, feel like it. That's what we're going to do with uh, with Georgie boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Come at us right now. Come uh, at us right now. So that's the strategy for both of them. So good luck, uh, both of you. Have, have a good race. No team orders. Never have team orders uh, at this race with this team. And, uh, yeah. May the best Alpine driver win this race or be fired straight away. It looks like clear skies tonight with the drivers now in their grid positions. And there's Lando Norris. They're in P1. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. And here we can see Russell. After an impressive qualifying performance, they're starting today just behind pole. The race start is mere seconds away. We're just moments away from the Singapore Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. And away we go is absolutely right there, Crofty. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do this little alternate uh, thing of a jobby and hope that uh, hope that it all goes according to plan. At the moment, it's not uh, going according to plan behind uh, Lando Norris here. George Russell almost free wide with oh, Leclerc has uh, gone past him, but that that is fine. Everything you can. That is fine. That is absolutely fine there, sir. George is playing the long game and will come back uh, to everyone in kind. That is the Rockstar Pool 69 guarantee to everybody here today. It's a guarantee that you can almost take to the bank. I say almost because, you know, it might not be uh, possible to take this to uh, the bank. But uh, we're going to try. <laughs> Lord knows we're gonna try. <laughs> Lovely into the hands there, but how he's doing. He's, he keeps in contact with uh, Mr. Leclerc there, George, with the old uh, DRS train. He could be in for a decent result. And I do mean a very decent result. I, would, I do wonder which, uh, which one's gonna win out here on strategy, because this strategy is uh, very... It's risky, but at the same time, it's also very viable. That's not uh, the prettiest view in the world there, is it? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't think it was the prettiest view uh, in the world either. So, uh, settle him. Okay, Gasly's overtaken take. Russell. Take a closer look. Oh, it's going to be down Raffles Boulevard. That, that, that's fine. That is absolutely fine there, uh, Mr. Gasly. You you overtake him. And they clear it. Big move for them and a race position gained. You overtake him. That's absolutely that fine with me. Was a bitter blow for the team. <coughs> absolutely really fine. No problem. Oh, virtual safety car. Hello. Virtual safety car has Charles Leclerc's taken the lead of the Grand Prix. I wonder why. Right, VSC, VSC. Okay. Um, I think we'll keep them out for the moment. Let's see. Uh, put them all on uh, their conserve modes. And it's Albon that's uh, brought out the VSC. Uh, where's this going to be? Oh, it's going to be under the tunnel. Oh. 
Well, if Akar's not retired, I don't know uh, what has. I like it. Oh, that wasn't uh, that wasn't very today. good there. That should be a retired McLaren. Should be. But this is F1 Manager 22. The okay, we are everywhere. back racing again. You see that Gasly is uh, caught up. George Russell's the uh, fastest guy out there on medium tyres. Because uh, we've got them on aggro mob uh, mode with the fuel as uh, Norris has got past Leclerc in the uh, final corner. That's what you call a textbook. It's what you call absolutely, perfectly textbook manoeuvring. We absolutely love and adore a move like that. You can't get uh, much wronger than that. So now he's got to disappear off into the distance. Get out of DRS range. Okay, we got a yellow in sector one. See what uh, what's going on uh, here. Try to see on the mini map. It's going to be Giovinazzi. Now look at this. <sighs> Giovinazzi into the Anderson hairpin. Where's your brakes, mate? I like it. There's the crash. <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark, along with the rest of him. <laughs> okay, Norris has uh, gone past Leclerc. Happened. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. Where's, where's that? That's, um... Yeah, they not even I know where that is. Oh, oh that, that so was going into, uh, the, out of the third DRS zone. Back in the garage, the team what's the, um, what's the bet in? Right. What's the bet in? I'll, uh, finish that in a second. As, uh, Verstappen's overtaken Russell. The what's the bet in when, uh, we, we come here Max this Verstappen. year for the Singapore Grand Prix? That because the um, chicane after that corner there disappears and it's a straight run down to what is now turns 20 and 21 they are you down that way that'll become a DRS zone as well what's what's the betting that uh, that will happen let me just check uh, discord a second they'll be questioning just what happened out there ah no it's uh it's fine it's fine Norris has overtaken the Claire so there we have the LP Oh, that's a good move there. That's a good move. Goodness me. Taking advantage of... Uh, Moving ahead of the other driver. Taking advantage of everything that there. Was a big moment. The team are yeah, quite right that, uh, that they should be uh, celebrating. I think they should be celebrating too. Oh, hello. Safety car has come out. Safety car has come out with Leclerc in the pits. Right, well, this is the perfect time to bring in Lando. You lose a lot less time under the uh, safety car with a pit stop than you do under a regular pit stop. It's going to come out around about fifth. That's fine with me. So the medium tyres for George. Now, uh, sorry, for now, Lando. Now, George, what we got? We've got a crash involving multiple. Oh, it's going to be Giovinazzi again with the Anderson hairpin. Oh, oh there's Lance Stroll. Oh, my God. God! The plane is crashing to the ground, not quite to the mooring mass. Oh, the humanity! He just got sent to the Shadow Realm. Absolutely sent to the uh, the Shadow Realm. I feel like we should bring George in as well, you know. Honestly, I do. I feel like we should bring in George. Those soft tyres will go 44 laps. And we've got 43 laps left. We're going to have some laps on the safety car. There's a chance. There's a chance. These softs could go to the end. 47 laps on a new set of softs. There is a chance that these softs could go to the end. I'm going to go for it, you know. Let's go for it. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. Let's go for it. Copy. Let's go for it.
let's go for it and see what uh, see what happens. So Lando should come out in the lead. Hopefully, here comes George. Oh, that is just absolutely slick, slick as you like. Pete's done. Damn right. Right, there goes Leclerc. That's fine. He's gonna come out in front of Latifi. Surely, yeah, because Latifi's only just coming through the uh, final corner now. Nicholas Latifi. <laughs> Nicholas Latifi will restart in P4. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, confirm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Pick up the pace. this is going to go one way. <laughs> I guarantee you, you're about to see. Oh no, Lando got out in the lead. That's fine. And George got out in P3. So all he's got to do is overtake Charles Leclerc on these medium tyres, and he's golden. I could have stuck him on a set of hards to go to the end of the race, but uh, I don't think that would have been. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think that would have been very viable. So here we go, restart yet again, and Lando is gone. Lando is gone. Well, not quite uh, gone, but uh, he's gone enough. That's uh, all that needs to happen. He needs to pull out a second from Charles Leclerc so that the DRS doesn't matter. See, there are big play strategies happening right before your very eyes. Because everyone loves a big play strategy into turn 7 at the end of the Raffles Boulevard. Now turn 8. Very nicely done with turn 8. Turn 9. On board with George. The gap uh, back to Latifi. What is the gap back to Latifi? Yeah, that, that's what I thought would, um, would happen uh, there. The gap back to Latifi is, well, it's irrelevant, shall we say. Because <laughs> these three will form a breakaway, and if Verstappen doesn't get past the Latifi very quickly, go on, George, stick it in there. Stick it in there, George. Stick it in there nicely, if you uh, don't mind me saying so. Ah, but he didn't. L yeah, Latifi hasn't uh, stopped yet either. Latifi's trying something uh, very different. Or as my uh, my good friend uh, Tico uh, would say, Tico uh, has admitted to me, he doesn't watch these videos. That, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. He loves the F1 uh, 23 stuff. That That's fine that uh, Tico chooses not to watch this. That, that That's absolutely his right. It's not for him. And I respect that opinion. Go on, George, stick it in there. Oh, I thought he was going to. Well, let's see this three down to Raffles Boulevard. The gap back to Latifi is already two seconds. How about the outside of turn five? He's, he's going either way. Yeah, nice attempt. You will get him next time. Right, he's got, he's got him now. He's got him now, surely. No, he hasn't. Ah, what has this Red Bull got that uh, we all haven't got? DRS has been enabled. Okay, Russell's let's now finally look. got past Leclerc. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. Oh, into turn 15. You love to see it. Or oh, is that turn 14? It's one of them. I don't know which a one. Bold move indeed. And with that, I don't know. Ow. That was a pain where I didn't need a pain. Really loving that. Yeah, I'd, I'd be uh, celebrating that too. Right, now it's time for uh, these two to disappear off into the distance, me thinks. Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. Another safety car. Oh, come on! Uh, Accident. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. Chill. Like a it's fine, who do we Let's blame for this one? Look. Are we blaming Giovinazzi again? He got no front right wing. Here. He's got no front wing and he had no intention oh, of making that corner. Are you serious? He did, he, was a big what plan. are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Blow to the team. 
Will they be able to recover? Somebody will explain see. what uh, he's doing for me. I think we've had a car. Okay, run Ruff. Wide. Oh, Let's George. See what okay. George. So there we have the Oh dear, dear, dear. Don't that do that again, all right? I'm watching you, George Russell. Do not do that again. Okay, safety car is in this lap. Just push. Yeah, confirm. <laughs> safety so car is in is. this lap. Yeah, oh, good. I tell you what, guys, as well. It's going to be very hot today, coast. and I have got me a two-litre bottle of water that we've stuck in the fridge. Yeah, think about the shifting coast. So, no and it, in fact, you know what? I'm going to take a photo yeah. of it. So charge. I'm going to take a photo of it, so you can uh, you can all see it for yourselves. Guys in the pits. Coming. But that is uh, that is going to be my uh, saviour today as I'm uh, doing all these recordings. I'm going to do a mass recording session today with. Uh, I want to get as much done with F1 23. It's not come out for me as I'm recording it, so we get it to download to install tomorrow. Excuse me. And then I finally get my hands on it midnight Tuesday. But of course you guys already know that because that was, uh, for, for me, that's the uh, the 10th of June. For you guys uh, watching this, it's the 18th? Uh, yeah, 18th. So that's how normally I'm four weeks ahead. But I just can't seem to get four weeks ahead at the moment. <clears throat> for some insane reason. <sighs> and then next month we get F123 again. We get F123, and like I said, I know who I'm going to be for F123. I've already decided in my head. I hear voices in my head, they go bath. <coughs> Would you excuse me clearing my throat all the time? Because uh, it seems to be that I've got something stuck in there, and uh, I do not wish to know what it is. I do wish to know that I want Russell and uh, Lando to disappear off into the distance. And I never, ever want to uh, see them ever again. I don't want to see them be harassed by a Red Bull. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them as an easy race. Who's running wide okay, then? Bottas has uh, run wide. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Didn't lose a place there, so uh, fair, play to, uh, fair play to uh, Valtteri uh, right there, folks. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not another one? Now what for? That's, what's safety that, is that car, safety, safety car. car number three? Unbelievable. Is it Giovinazzi again? Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. I don't think George is going to make it to the end of this Grand Prix. I seriously don't think uh, George is going to make the end of this Grand Prix, so I think we're going to get him, stick him on another set of softs. We've had a Hope that uh, no one else comes in. Latifi is... Ah, now. remember when the Latifi was in P4? Latifi. It's the Anderson hairpin yet again. That crash is terrible news for the team. I... Well, that... that well, with all day brief for stewed across the track, the it has to be a safety really car, doesn't it? With that. Let's hope it that that just has to be a safety car. Ah! Okay, here comes George. Now let's hope no one else pits. Oh, you're joking. Lando's a sitting duck. Oh, you're oh Gasly's uh, decided he's going to stay out. Oh, could Pierre Gasly... You're seeing an Alpine master plan come into play here. Pierre Gasly could be about to be the cork in the bottle. As long as Norris uh, disappears off into the distance. I don't think uh, somehow he will, though, unfortunately. Okay. Let, yeah, let's go to work. Come on, let's go to work. Safety car in this lap. Safety car is in. I have a problem with my ribs. We have. How many laps have we got to go? 
we have 11 laps to go when we cross the line. Can Lando Norris hold on for 11 laps <laughs> with worn medium tyres? Why didn't I bring him in? <laughs> well, because I was covering off all the bases, really, wasn't I? See, George needs to get past Gasly very quickly and hope. Did Ocon not pit as well? Hey, if Ocon didn't pit as well, you see a real Alpine uh, masterclass in play. What do you mean by that? I, I, I don't know. The ge my genius, it just knows no bounds. It just knows no bounds that Ocon, look at this, former Alpine drivers Ocon and Gasly are coming to ruin the party. Although I think Leclerc has uh, already said something about, no he hasn't. Oh come on Esteban, I wasn't a fan of you uh, during the, the first season of uh, F1 manager but uh, I'm a fan of you now. I am your biggest fan. I am not Gasly's biggest fan at the moment because he's holding up uh, George Russell. Lando Norris has disappeared off into the distance. He's got ERS. He's got fuel. He is punching away. Look at him. He's gone. George sticking in there, mate. Oh, not quite. And Ocon is holding up uh, everyone else like a treat. See, this is the master strategy in play. This, this, sometimes it's tyres, sometimes it's just using the other cars to our advantage. And when we use the other cars to our advantage, nine times out of ten, um, it, it doesn't work, really. Okay, Russell's finally got past Gasly, he's got past, um... Uh, what's his, uh, what's his name? I forgot uh, his name, but uh, the one that's struggling is Lando, unfortunately. As you can see, he has fallen into the clutches of the Red Bulls. And that's uh, Lando in P3 now, with Charles Leclerc chasing down uh, George Russell. And I bet, yeah, he's gone down to P4. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate for uh, Lando, especially with his championship uh, charge as well. Nah, he didn't deserve that. Didn't deserve that, mate. But, uh, oh well. It's, uh, it's what it is, unfortunately. Uh, our fault, unfortunately. Okay, final lap of the Grand Prix. George Russell leads this uh, race. Yeah, think about, think about Les place. Lifton Coast, yeah. says uh, Bono to Lando. Uh, Lando is all his own, but he's got a hard charge in Sergio Perez chasing him down, and he is on fresh uh, tyres, and uh, Lando is. We've got Lando on full aggro mode with the tyres and full yeah. aggro mode with the fuel. George Russell's built up a six-second gap to Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. They, they, they just had no answer to them, but... Uh, oh, George, we want to keep an eye on George, because George has gone the uh, fastest in the first sector of anybody by... Well, himself. Himself, really. He's going full aggro mode with uh, what he's got. We will uh, go deploy, keep ourselves ahead of Sergio a little bit more there. If we can go deploy, if we can start deploying to the end of the Grand Prix, we might uh, have a chance to stay ahead of Sergio. Into the Singapore sling goes Lando. George has gone purple in the middle sector as well. He's about to set a flyer. He's seven and a half seconds in front of Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen. That's, I can honestly say that that's just insane absolutely insane it's my George Russell all uh, over again as he comes through the final corners and George Russell does win the Singapore Grand Prix we haven't said that because we're con we're concentrating so hard on bringing Lando home P4 which uh, I think he's done, but now we'll concentrate it on it. A win 
through the final corners. My George Russell wins the Singapore Grand Prix. Get in there, son. Get in. That's what I'm talking about. Goats doing goat stuff. As uh, Lando brings it home, P4. I think he's very unlucky there. Very, very unlucky for the uh, for the young Englishman. But uh, what a performance uh, still to bring home P4. I think we can call P1, P4, even though well, I think we win the Constructors' Championship as well. I forgot all about that. Yeah, because uh, we've got 26, uh, 38, they've got 33, so yeah, we win. And here today, George Russell making British motorsport proud. A truly well-earned podium here, and a dream come true for everyone involved. And right now, it's the British driver who proudly takes his place on the podium. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. I imagine everyone at Alpine will be very satisfied with their performance today. They do say success breeds success, and I'm sure the team will be hoping that holds true. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Grand Prix. We'll see you at Suzuka, a firm favourite for the drivers. Well, I think we uh, we do the old uh, noodle R36 oh, flat. Je Jesus Christ, George. That's where Ian comes along sh on a brick. <laughs> That's fast. But yeah, 38 points for us, 33 points for them. There's 44 points on offer for a 1-2 and the fastest lap. Uh, there are five laps left. 220 would be the required uh, George Russell uh, extends his gap out to that and we are 243 points ahead so yes confirm it Alpine Constructors Championship that's our third one third one baby that's what I'm talking about That's what I'm talking about right there. Give him a development point. Yes. Give him one too. Thank you. Don't give him one. <laughs> Don't give him one. That's absolutely uh, fine with us, but we will take another four and a half million dollars into the bank account. Oh, my God. A third constructor's title for Alpine. What more do you need to say to that, folks? What more? Uh, well, we got the suspension simulator sorted out, but uh, I feel for Lando in that uh, situation. Lando did uh, nothing wrong there. He was just a, a victim of everyone uh, pitting when uh, when they shouldn't have done, which is uh, rather unfortunate. But uh, hey, it's that's a video that's finished. My God, Ian has a right. Let's have a development point for Lando. On your defending, please, because why not? This is his worst stat. 90 rated Lando Norris. That's all that needs to be said. 90 rated Lando Norris. And we've got 90 rated George Russell as well. And they've both still got their best years ahead of them. Isn't that just frightening? Right, George, let's put it on your adaptability. Yeah, adaptability is uh, next for George. I was waiting for 91 rated George Russell then. That would have made him better than Verstappen, wouldn't it? What's uh, Verstappen's rating? 
I can't remember what Verstappen's rating is. Uh, pit crew, look at that, 97 rate. Uh, yeah, so we want to put uh, on the tie changes. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Playlists have appeared. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. You can't be kind to crowd. No place in the world you can't be kind to other people. See you tomorrow for F1 uh, 23, the first race of the game. And see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for F1 Manager.